read some stories to some kids right now, so <laughs> then I'd sign off. But more than anything comes through is your enthusiasm for this project, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is greatly appreciated. It's just, yeah. And the students as well, obviously. Excellent. All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you very much. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. Next up, yeah. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Did you do anything we could squeeze in right here before we get on the next up? Do you have anything that you can announce? Oh, yeah. No, I got, uh, I got some of you on that. Can I say a year or you can stay where you like? <laughs> All right. Um, Tom Mikey's been uh, having a couple of months where he's reaching out to all the communities, mostly just to meet people, but it's to get them to set this on the law. Uh, legislatively, he's tied up in committee meetings, so it's hard to tell them rah rah on this bill. You know, please negate this bill. You know, there, there's no chance for that. There is some study at the commission level, at the committee level, though. But meanwhile, uh, He's all about meeting with people, and he's got this whole thing about community coffee. We've got a month's worth of community coffees throughout this district, and especially where it will be here on a Saturday morning, I believe, on the 21st. There'll be signage put up. I think you guys uh, know this. Right, we're going to post it on the website, and I need an answer for them. Yes. The reason why is that um, it's only about one hour. Yes. We want to make sure that your topic, if you have a topic, is you know is that is that is at least addressed. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's it. Thank, Thank you.
50 cent, well, 25 cents in cap and trade, 25 cents in dividends, electrical infrastructure. Uh, there, I think it's two cents for remediation of the leaking gas tanks as gas stations move in and out. Uh, and there's some other tax, plus there's sales tax. And then there's the 18 cents federal tax. Right. But the actual sales tax portion is not being considered as a No, no. It's not a big tax. That's all the accounting would not be. Yeah, or, you know, or whoever depends on that sales tax. But not. that's where the, the, in, the intake of tax is double. Yes. The sales tax is double because of how the gasoline is done. Mm -hmm. So they're. Yeah. It's it's they say it's going to actually win an ordinary collapse. No. So if you give a holiday on the gas tax, the big state portion of it, that's going to be backfilled by the general fund, then there really is no holiday at all. Yeah, if you look at yeah, it. Yeah, he's right. He's collecting a lot more sales tax so than would normally be. Because of the higher gas prices, the, yeah. the sales tax collection is double. So it would make sense that you know you can make double this money in sales tax. That's and most equivalent to what you're going to, you know, so why are they not looking at the sales tax? Individual bills that I saw 
problem mostly has to do with urban urban areas. Well, that's why I'm, I'm not looking. But I think that's what you would need Maybe legislative so. legislative action. Right. And uh, that's uh, okay, but what you're talking yeah. about is it's going to undermine it for everybody. Yeah. It's not, it's not a rule that it's, no. yeah. it's a basically screen up the net metering so there's no incentive. In fact, it's a disincentive yeah. to, for people to put solar up. It costs yeah. you to do it. Yeah, for yeah. you to do yeah. it the right thing, uh, yeah. it's going to cost you more. And so, one, there's a whole issue of the people that already invested in this spent barrel and, uh, and, and got it, that now they're going to be penalized because that's going to that's going to shift and go yeah. away. Uh, then you have the folks that are considering it, and it's going to end, like she says, hey, it's 80 extra dollars just because you have solar. Well, then why would you do that? So basically, it's it's, it's, well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's basically Sophie's choice, right? So you're, you know, they're the, you know, you, you, Edison, you told her, PG&E are going to get their either from you one way or you from the other way. Either you put solar panels and we'll still collect it, or you don't put solar panels and we'll still collect it. But or, either way. Right, or we just we just encourage student generation forever. Correct. The programs you're talking about are incentives to increase distributed generation and DAX disadvantaged communities. And I'm all for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, they're not just for that. No. They're not there. The oh, okay. ones I read were you know, pretty open. Sure. Like, we're talking open as in apartment. Yeah. Okay, well, but... And for me, it was... Dense, urbanized, literally. Right, right. Which, and that's a perfect yeah. place to focus on. Yeah. You should generate the power when you use it. Yeah. But, the, but the problem I have is that a lot of the arguments in favor of these terrible proposals that the PUC is looking at, and, and by the way, completely pushed only almost entirely by the utilities. Now, you know, all the environmental groups are opposed to it because of what it could do to destroying uh, like, 100,000 yeah. acres and 1,000 square miles of desert. So, yeah. um, but a lot of the argument in favor of it is based on the false premise that if you have solar, you get paid a lot of money by Edison. So, for example, this is, this, 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 well, I mean, uh, the way it works is Edison keeps your bill for a year, right? And then at the end of the year, you have a huge amount of credit. Like right now, we're almost in the 12th month, and we have $250 for the credits, right? But when the true up period ends, they're going to take that $250 and uh, um, look at it in terms of what the retail rates are, the ISO charges, which is really like a fraction of a cent per kilowatt hour, and it suddenly becomes about $4. So they're, they're, you don't make money off of paying uh, from Edison if you can give them power. They take the generation you make and they sell it to your neighbor at 43 cents a kilowatt hour. But you get a fraction of that. Oh, yeah, that up. Uh, it goes in their pocket. So, and then they can also make money on transmission yeah. charges for that. So, and, and the whole the problem, the frustration for me is the whole argument is, is based on a lot. Because people who have solar, and I can show you my bills, do not make money. No, and, and that's, it's gotten worse with the time of use, too. Because now what they consider peak and not peak is like, Oh, when no one is home, and of course you're, you know, not using your solar because you're not cooling your house and all this stuff. That's not peak. But hey, you get home at five o'clock, six o'clock, and you want to turn your air conditioner because it's 105. Now, now that's peak, and, and, and there's no sun. So now I am 100 percent unless you have a battery and you start playing games with that, which is expensive. Yes, we know, yeah, which is crazy expensive. And if you can even get them, I mean, I'm still on. So, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. so I mean, so just when you look at all that, it's it, it's a it's a giant show game, and it's and it's, and it's a it's a bad paradigm. This whole remote generation, yeah. And I we can't get anybody to give a gosh darn. So, well, which is why you know I think one of the reasons why they don't, especially legislatively, is they don't know legislators don't know this. Well, how do I just my like? Well, well, that's a letter. I'll, I'll okay. see if we can come. No, no, I'm not kidding. Well,
part. It's the same thing here. You might, yeah, you might oversee these things, but if you want a real specialist, you need some time to go get a real specialist, right? You need some time to start thinking about right. this stuff. Right. Right. Because so in, the in, 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 in these bills, yeah. it's flat. You know, it can get written out. It takes a while. It's not just like, you know, that 12-page bill it might take 12 months. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and, and that's fair. They're taking the time to put it yeah. properly. It's just that if, if the state of California really wants to go all in on decarbonization, you know, I'm not going to oppose that, but they're not going to do it right. And so this is like supposedly a, 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 a golden goal they're going yeah. for. So, you know, it should be a higher priority than like, you know, plastic surgery for dogs, which is what they're talking about. <laughs> well, well, and you look at like, like talking about the fact and try to look at urbanized, and, and like that, those buildings exist that already blot out whatever was there 100 years ago. The thought that you're going to take and level a bunch of pristine mm -hmm. land to cover with a bunch of solar panels and wipe out whatever's there, contribute to uh, valley fever, all sorts of things. Who knows what? Because yeah. why yeah. Why yeah. Why yeah. Why yeah. all of it, yeah. all of it, and, and you look at that and go, why is that in any shape or form logical? The only explanation is is that as and PG, all these utilities yeah. are pushing for what serves their shareholders, which is serves their shareholders. Well, there, there, there's also political imperatives. For sure. People don't want a nuclear power, which would be sure. But that's the solution to yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 It's, it's but the there are a lot of solutions. Yeah. It, it, it's the well, economical well, solution. And Newsom just extended the obligation. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, we want to allow us to charge that transmission. Now now you're going to lie where it takes 12 months to render it. Yeah. Now you start to see. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other reason we don't have some zone anymore is for Edison. Yes. So did you hear on the footnote that you hear Diablo is uh, they're looking at extending. Oh yeah, good. Well I appreciate that, Carl. Thank you very much. My question is if the legislature are doing what Jackie's already done to her house, then they would know what she's talking about. That means they're not they're not no. they're telling out what to do, but they're not doing all of these all of these three people. I guarantee I only use my CO2 footprint for the city of the state 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 of the It'll cost you more to do it and to shut it off or to, you know, do it during the day when you're not home. Yeah. I says, I told the guy, I says, am I stupid? <laughs> <laughs> stupid. I'll take the cheap ones. Right. Well, then, we haven't even got to the point of, like, the battery storage, so they want to stick out here, and how that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, no, I mean, how many, make, how many megawatts? 300. 300 megawatts. Battery. battery. Out here. Well, uh, then, battery. Yeah. In a very high, high fire. Yeah. 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 Yeah
has issued a nine-page document outlining the quote preliminary strategies and actions for the county water plan. Comments on this document are due on May 13th, so we need to get the position. <laughs> yeah. The document itself ignores all the concerns that we raised and other rural communities raised regarding the county's proposal to increase groundwater extraction rates in rural areas and sending the water outside of the native basins to serve urban areas. Because that will further stress local domestic well production rates. In fact, the document places, uh, places an emphasis on expanding water pipe networks to create one enormous interconnected water system. That's the word right out of it. That extends throughout the entire county. It particularly highlights opportunities to provide groundwater to areas that don't overlie basins, which means groundwater to everywhere else. Exactly. Right? Which, by definition, requires out of basin transfers, which you, 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 it's illegal to do unless you go through the state and get approved and all that other stuff. It also places particular emphasis on regional conveyance alignments and water allocation. Uh, at the workshop, they mentioned that none of this activity involves CEQA, and that CEQA, which is the California Environmental Quality Act, will be done on each of the individual infrastructure projects once they are initiated. I pointed out that because the board is adopting the water plan into the general plan, the water plan itself will become binding and enforceable, and the county will have a statutory obligation to comply with all of its strategies and targets that it incorporates. I pointed out that the water plan strategies and targets will drive all of the environmental impacts created by the water plan, and there will be yep. <laughs> extraction facilities in India. Uh, you know, they're going to do water studies on uh, Virginia. <laughs> no, probably not. No, no, no. What you know what I mean is like, it, it, they, they want to grow water all over it. I agree. Yeah, no, I know you agree. I just agree. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, uh, that anyway, um, that these strategies and targets are going to drive the environmental impacts that the water plan will create, and that's what sequence attaches. And I also think skipping sequel for now, uh, and since the board of supervisors a month ago adopted or intended to adopt, signified an intent to adopt the sustainability plan and the water plan into the general plan, they can skip sequel. Uh, and they'll just look at the environmental impacts associated with the separate and individual infrastructure projects that are conducted to achieve the water plan targets. The key issue that arose at the workshop, though, was really explain to him that our local water agency is working with District 37 members, right? But only a portion of that is in District 37. And that the water district does not speak to or communicate with most of Acton because they are not in the district. In fact, I'm the only person here who's not on a private well on the board, right, on the town council. Um, uh, so after I said that, there was a, a moment of silence to I was trying to let it sink, sink in. Uh, Mr. Giles, Mr. Coons expressed the concern that there was no, again, that there, that's not how it should be. So I asked him how active residents outside of the district are being represented in this process. And I asked also, because Mary Johnson had been on the call earlier, but she had to ring off, because it was just at the end of where it was our deadline. Um, I asked how um, Gilsey residents are being represented in the process, so they don't have any water agencies in their community. There was no one answer. Um, this is a huge problem, and it is tied into that water line that's now going from our basin to the Abadolsi Basin right now, being built. And the fact the county is still not provided documentation proving that the line will only be served by ADA. So I've been clear on the RTG project that environmental document said water to that development, water in that pipeline will come from ADA, not from our basin. Right. That was a big deal in the EIR. And we have asked. District 37 for the backup on that. What we got was a, a, a memorandum of understanding that was like that between ABEC and District 37. It is, just it's said, like, if. No, no, it just it had nothing to do with the No, no, no. It just it's said, just in general, like, if. Just if District 37 can't meet its obligations. Can't meet its obligations to supply water to any project. Yes. Or even an active, then they have to talk to ABEC first before committing ABEC resources, basically. Which is not the same thing as a document that says this development will be supported by a vet water and not result in the base extraction out of the basin here. And Mr. Coons, he said, well, before District 37, you know, increases full rates out of the the um, out of the lake or out of the river here, you know, out of our basin, they'll have to go through some sort of review. I'm like, yeah, but 
the decision to do it has already been made. You know, at that point, when the project is to sink a well and pull another thousand acre feet out, that's the project. And the only alternative they can look at is no project, which is not an option because a lot of money is required to do it. So it's completely the lack of understanding of what Path SQL is and what its purpose is and how it works is shocking. But um, anyway, so we have to get commented by the 13th. And I, I have a motion here. I haven't written that stuff. <laughs> and we should do other motions. This is the only one I can think of because I just, it's like, my gas hits are flat. Is that the right term? Is that a verb? Um, I move that we reach out to the Iowa Wilson Town Council and collaborate with them on a plan to ensure rural areas outside of water districts are represented in the water plan working groups and development activities. I don't know if that helped, but <clears throat> so there's the Iowa Wilson has a meeting on Wednesday. I can go to it. I think they're still doing it remotely.
So what's the problem? Well, it's not people people's flocks, like, uh, like Juniper Valley. I don't think they have a lot of districts. There are large, large places on that one. Three points. Yeah. I mean, there are rural communities that don't have a lot of There have to be. So they could be more than just. Yeah, a lot of little say. I mean, is that something we can be prepared to see? <laughs> yeah, and everybody should be aware. And this was discussed at the ARTC meeting. The meeting was before. Sure. I think it was, I think it was after the chat right now, but anyway, yeah. So, here's this question. Apparently, Santa Clarita or Santa Clarita Valley Water Board is going to do present or split on. So, how does this affect them and other districts? It's, it's there. It, it's going to affect them because it's a countywide plan. But they're at the table already. So, uh, so Rick Fierce who is in Santa Clarita Water Valley. I can't remember what it's called. They're all at the table already discussing how to do this. So I, I suspect that they're in better shape than we are because they have a voice. And they're actually directing. They're part of the I learned that there are these work, working groups that are putting these strategies together. So I asked, how do we get on the working groups? Other working groups are comprised of experts in water right. and water yeah. agencies. I'm like, well, what about the people who aren't that they again if you have that conversation? I mean, it keeps coming back. It's like these people aren't getting the message. Well, I, 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 I think you're getting too much about that. I think you get the message that they're just stonewalling. If I just keep telling you that, that you're represented, maybe you'll go away. He seemed genuinely, Mr. Coons, who seems like a very decent guy, he's with any of the boards, seemed genuinely unhappy about the, the situation with her. Well, the, the, the idea that there are people not represented. Yes. But that's who should be representing us, the county. Well, yeah. The same people who are doing other people that should be representing us. <laughs> right. I, I mean, because I we don't have experts, since we don't have our own state, right. we don't have our own jurisdiction. Right. So we don't have experts. There must be people who have experts. It's out there. I mean, Don Henry would be an expert, right? Yeah. Well, in good yeah. wells, but not like. Well, who is the You said what? But a well is a water structure. Our water situation. Yes, that's so that's true. This, and this is a crazy question, but and I was kind of half joking about hey, we should, you know, what, if you're not represented by a water district, what pre prevents you from forming a water district? I think, in fact, we've been told by a water district 37 that we want to take over district 37. They have to. No, no, no. I think what he's saying, like, Jeremiah, is the form of water district. So everybody's not represented. That represents the yeah. right well. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably, it, I think it's something called a special district. Well, uh, well, maybe that's part. Maybe that's part of this thing is to uh, to approach about forming. It's it's outside the box. It doesn't necessarily even have to be just. Could it be other? Could we have a rural water district that we have a well owner that represents? Yeah, I don't have a plan. Yeah. 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 No. Well, sure, but, but I think if, if if this is the the brick wall is about to run twenty miles an hour into. You know, face first. Or I think, into us. <laughs> well, whatever. I, you know, that, 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 I think an argument can be made that there is no, there is no uh, person representing the interests of folks who all share a common situation. Maybe that's the water reason or whatever. But, you know, even if it was just the water reason, but they all, that would be great. I mean, all of a sudden, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of these well owner water, special water districts all in place, yeah. there at least would be some voices yeah. besides. You know, big water. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, yeah. I agree. Aqua Delta is covered by the water district. Because the, the, why I, I remember, I worked on the, the electric board in Aqua Delta. And one year we were voting for um, the water district guy. Because John Joyce was one of the board. And, and, oh, and you know, yes. And Aqua Delta, yeah. 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 Aqua Delta is actually. There was like we had like three different precincts in the the women's center, and so these guys were. This group was voting for like where John Joyce was, and then the other ones. There was another one that had other people that were going on that. Board. Was, there, was it for Ava? Yeah, yeah, it was water. I remember that being on the council. Oh well, because I, I looked at we grabbed the wrong book, okay. and I got. Wait a minute, that's not on our thing, and we have to throw that over the bell sky. And so they, they are technically, even though they have wealth, they're represented 
by those guys, but they should know that most of the people have wells there. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of weird that they had a water district and it was going to be done as well. Well, I don't, I mean, I think that's a real problem. Actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think it's the same boat as Axon. There's a few areas in Axon that it's part of the water district 37, but the majority of it. There's only no, one no, part, no, and it's the other like G well, there you go. Yeah, it's, but it doesn't exist yet. They haven't done it. But the majority of it is outside of water. Well, let, let me ask you a question. What, what do you recommend we do? Um, this at this point, I'm not. I, basically, I'm here. I'm going to be Just listen. listening and definitely mention this. You reiterate, you know, that, you know, they need to understand, and, you know, not all the, um, I guess, areas, rural areas in the Ethel Valley and even in the Santa Maria Valley are not part of the district, so they... There's a gap. There's a gap. Yeah. That, that has to be proved. And, and, so, and, 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 and this plan is going to affect us more than okay. anyone else, so because it's not that. binding on the city of LA or city of Santa Clarita or any... They're all participating, but they don't have to. They can just say, we don't like it, ignore it, right? I, I apologize, but I had you in touch with Mr. Um, Yao. He works for a job. Because you brought this up to me. Probably a bunch of times. Yeah. That, you know, um, you heard about it, but then you're not uh, being heard. So I think they had a workshop. I didn't know that, you know, they still are not getting it, so I'll... Um, Thank you. 
we need to know how many residents are in Acton and Aquadolte, and then he can say, oh, then yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 It, it doesn't help because everybody's used to be different. So if I have 20 horses at my place and I'm doing 25 gallons a day, plus I have, like, it's, it's, a, comp, it's a more complex equation than like the size of household or whatever else. They have no clue how much water is being pulled out of what, when, where, how. And there's no recourse. So if my well goes dry, all of a sudden they pull out, you know, yeah. thousand acres or whatever else. <laughs> they pull out a crap ton of water and they ship it somewhere else. And my well goes dry. What do I do? I go, Hey, District 37, you guys pulled too much water. And they go, Probably. Or, or just shrug. I think because I don't care. There's some guy out there still coming out. We have everything back still. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what I don't understand is the business. How does this work with recorded water rights? Yeah. Because there are a lot of recorded water rights. That's actually something I don't think they're even thinking about. Though. So at some point, it's all going to blow up in court? Or that's what I would think. Well, well, they'll they'll just they'll just they'll they'll you can't take over your water rights. Well, let's declare yeah. that. Well, we wrote a if you if you go down too far, if you go too far down that path though, you're going to say, okay, so we're just going to do away one. And then nobody has yeah, right now that's a bad thing too, because nobody can build that plant. Like up in the you have to get permission from the water master to build a home and sink a well in the Animal Valley. It's right. not but we have a different set of water rights here. Right, yeah, I know, basic to basic stuff. Because it is a river. Don't really. you have water rights as long as there's water? And if your well goes dry, so there the water rights. Right, but it, it seems like it's a step in the direction yes. of shutting down wells. Yes. Taking yes. all yes. the water. That's exactly that what this is about. about. Okay. Okay. It is very clear. Yes. Strategy three is well, they, all about that. Yeah, they mentioned it. They make people. I, 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 they said water rights, but yeah, it's 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 buried in there. They don't describe what they're going to do with it. And also, they, they're, they, they, they're where giving people groundwater who aren't on a basin. Yeah. What does that mean? I mean, what basin? Okay, so we have a second. We've got a ton of discussion. Yeah. Are we? Uh, we're okay. <laughs> I don't want to work. I'm here. Uh, all right. All, all, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 That's how I know. That's, that's my signal. We've been talking too much. It's not. I'm doing the chart. I'm doing the chart. I'm doing the chart. It's such a crucial issue. Yes. That.
So, I think the same constitution says I don't know. But anyway, I say the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole story, that you are censored from my guy. Can we actually think that it doesn't need to see a page? No, we've got a court order telling that the order has been ordered and you apply for a CGP. Yeah, but they didn't pass that. There was a date on that, too. It had X to the date. Yeah, and so it's way past that. And we can never find them to serve them with that. Yeah, but that's. There's mechanisms for when you can't contact somebody. And then again, I think we fall back to the same thing we were saying three or four years ago. We have to move those people yeah. someplace. Yeah, that's what you guys do. Yeah. There's plenty of money. I haven't moved anybody out of the way. I haven't ordered people out. Well, all I know is they're spending a lot of money on this for housing. Yeah, and, and move them in. Yeah, yeah. let's put them in there. I, I, oh. There's no option. I talked to the homeless people who felt that same exact thing. How can you not even be in a park if you live in? You guys have got all this tax money. Where's my share? So, uh, that's my share. Uh, they're going to address it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, this stuff is, I just am worried now that Senator Wilkes has the impression that HTD has jurisdiction. And that's yeah, 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 I'm sure they do because that's a good job. Yeah. So, I mean, so, I mean, so, so, the whole, whole string got to you. Um, Oh, it's, did you send yeah, it? I just said it. I saw it on my phone. I said, I am, I am, after Monday at 5 o'clock, I am on this way. Okay. Oh, so I'm hoping to have you got it. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. asked me for what I was saying. Did they even walk in to see that they were hooked to yeah. a sewage thing? Yeah. Yeah. Then she yeah. went to the place. But well, if there's only no, one wall, how can they only watch one wall? Just like take a couple pictures and get back to the car. Yeah. No, 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 I'm saying, like, we had at least one resident say that, like, that was the extent of the She was very happy to call and tell me that no problem. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, that, that, at that big meeting where everybody was here, the woman said she watched her just walk around. <laughs> okay, and there was, took her pictures of I didn't buy it, and there, there's, there's garbage piled up, yeah. so there's got to be a little room in there. And she's going to say, oh, yes, like, it's not that person has to say where there's a green thing from. Well, she might have a there's branches and all kinds of crap. Yeah. Oh, it's fire hat and Yeah. It's like, well, oh, the only problem is they don't actually have treasures. That's the only problem. It's supposed to be required, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, anyway, I, I just don't, you know, just, I don't care what it takes. They just need to be gone at this point. There's, there's no, there's no reason for that. Well, well for what we said we were going to do yeah, is, I is uh, Bring the issue to the federal EPA in Region 9, the State Water Board, the Water Board, the California Board. Yeah, we'll call it that. Yeah, I mean, what have I mean, we got to lose? Yeah, no. <laughs> so they're bringing their trash across the street to the community club. Are they? Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 well, I got a year or two ago, two years ago. They're just going down the street and hoping that yeah, everybody's up and in jail. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got already taken out the window. Yeah. They, they don't 
insists on him for the rest no. of his life. Yeah, they throw him in his death. We don't know what the thing is. He's probably innocent. We can't. No. He's probably innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, I mean, that might be why it's over the point. But my point is, is that there's some point where, like, you know, you see, whatever, you go through all the crap, and you go, know, okay, we're at the end of the room. And yes, the guy has to this work. But this is, like, exactly the scenario of, like, why, why I mean, there is funds to be paid with this. Is for this kind of scenario, so like, do it. <laughs> like, there's not a, I mean, if it's court ordered. That's right, you don't know, that's my point. So I, 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 like, I like your idea. I think we should reach out to the judge. Hey, nothing was done with this, and this is becoming the, the, the more egregious thing. Can you? Can you, you don't think so? I don't think so. Oh, I think you're right. 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 I think Here's what happened. They, it was, they were ordered to uh, apply for 90 days to receive they didn't do that. and secure the permit within 18 months. Or the property owner was ordered to, within 90 days, cease operating the mobile home park didn't do that. and comply with all applicable state and local laws related to closure of the mobile home park. So right now, that's under a closure order. Yes, yes. That's, that's my point. It's like, it, do we need a judge to... to Enforce. enforce the order. Well, this was not done, and this is how many years ago? Yeah. But I'm, I'm guessing the point of can go on to somebody else's property. Yes, we can. To the sheriff. You don't think to the sheriff? Or the market? Yes. The court order is issued. Yeah. And we need to be able to enforce the property. And the whole thing with how it was left in court time today is that we want to pay for the property. I think so. So the county won't follow through. Yeah, okay. So here's the problem. No, they can just take their trailer and move it. They have their house. Yeah. Well, I, don't know. I got a couple of districts that Because it's a mobile home park. But it's 
not a mobile home park, so they have no obligation to find a home park, so they can just leave them out right now. I think the idea yeah, that this is a blossom grow by residents. I don't area. know. I think, I think we're back to what you suggested, earlier, which was do that. But use this as your ammo, which is like, it's not even supposed to exist. County's back in the field. They're not doing anything on it. It needs to be built on I don't disagree. And it's I, amazing I, that this guy is collecting rent from all these oh, people. Yeah. And the thing is, there were just the items there. It's almost like a weird thing. No, I just want to, I honestly think that's what he's doing. I don't think he's passing up there. So, State of California, housing HCD, whatever, housing community development, California House Department of Housing, whatever, said that if it's straight up on the phone, she said if they are collecting rent, they are violating state law. Yeah. Because they are not a licensed vote. So now we got it Well, because we, at that meeting, that meeting had people talking about it. So they're just all squatters there? No, no, the guy, 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 the
position. And, and, and apparently an email from a person who works at the HCD is not keeping an official state state document.
reported earlier, the Harmonic Bronze had their first concert in almost two years. Um, it was great. It was good to see everybody out again. It was fantastic. And it's one of the great things that community has to offer. Plenty of coordinating? Yeah. Uh, we talked about the water plan and the cap, and so we kind of ran that concept. So. Oh, and uh, I, I did convey to them that we, the Acting Town Council is supporting the ARTC's objective of, of requesting that the county put together a general plan implementation council. Publicity uh, update the site. We'll get up the minutes. I know that's come up. Uh, we'll probably vote on them. Uh, be looking in your guys' emails. Uh, Kelly's going to send out, hopefully, here between now and next week, we can all review them, and then we can start getting those approved and then posted. So, Sam, yeah. we got our first awful Zoom experience. Yes. But we will get done. Yes. That was <laughs> great. <laughs> that was great. It was fantastic. Yeah. But getting
push them out, and some of them are doing, you know, are extremely useful. And uh, you know, they're richer products now because they wouldn't be, they would still be, yeah, they'll be a big cheese, yeah, yeah. yeah. pulling their hair out of it for the pandemic. So, yeah. um, and you know, you are helping us get this set up. Yes, 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 yes. You rock, you're the rock. <laughs> So it would be good. It would be. It would be great way to show support to the community. Yeah, the supervisor. With, with minimal. I mean, with, it's, not, it's not thousands of dollars. It's, yeah. Maybe that's just she doesn't practice. Yeah. 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 Y
Dr. Agrosin. Yes. Yeah. About uh, the illegal dumping task force and examining mm -hmm. those folks. So that was great. Yeah. They see some coverage for the work they've been doing there. Well, bringing that up, um, that's a group that I think maybe we this, yeah we should do something. We should see if they some kind of recognition. Yeah. Well, recognition and see if it doesn't have to be affiliated. This that we could have one of them, whether it's Tammy or somebody else, represent for this Republican better use of the space on as a committee. Yeah. yeah. Good, uh, good I mean, they're doing the work. Yeah. But they're doing the work. The county. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But this is my point. Just for this, because then we're going to have to do it. Yeah. Huge amount of work. Huge amount of work. Yeah. It's like, what is the right word? Yes. Yeah. We're going to have to turn it all off, right? Yes. And we just leave the door. And if we're going to do it. So we hit end session. And walk away. And walk away. And then this, you just walk out the door. And then don't turn around. We don't have to flip the switch in one. Oh, yeah, so you can just walk around. But don't leave anything in. Because in the next station, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I something needs to happen. I, mean, I, I well, see the bill are going to roll in about once yes. a week for that location. Yes. Yeah, I thought they would stop. Going going to stop. Yeah. It was, it was Gary's last email was pretty yeah, hard. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen any come in for there. I think there's one from Wisconsin this week. Yeah, but, but that was, I think, the last. Did you, okay, so the one in Wisconsin is a secret address. Did you see the name yes. of the of, of Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
try to make it, try to make a laugh. No, you know? no, it's actually, no, no, yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. So you're only home. It's like, yeah, there's some just miraculous break. Somebody holds up traffic and get the yeah. Yeah. And, and it's not, it's not just delays. You know, you can't look at congestion for effects. But it's a safety issue. Oh, I can make it through. Yeah, no, no, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's bad. So, I mean, I'm gonna have a, a driver here in the next. Yeah. <laughs> 